Hey, welcome back to the Singing Medium Podcast, everybody. My name is Jen, and this is going to be a doozy, as my grandma Henry used to say all the time. I'm going to reveal to you some brand new psychic predictions that have come through just this past week. So it is the first week of June 2022, and this whole week I've gotten at least five or six brand new psychic predictions for you guys for the world that is going to help you prepare for the upcoming months ahead and again if you have gone back you can go through all my past psychic prediction blogs on elevatehersoul.com under the blog tab so it's in a wordpress document there are like i'm going to say at least 100 blog posts from the past two years maybe that's a little um, exaggerating but there are many many things that i have said that didn't make sense at the time that took two years to come to fruition and that is how the psychic timeline works so i don't always know when it's going to happen but i do know that it will most likely probably happen it just takes a little time for it to manifest so for me as a seer i can see into the future which is where the term seer comes from and has to do with like mystical esoteric you know, non-human abilities <laughs> that I possess, which you all all possess, uh, not just myself. If you worked on it, you'd be able to do what I do. I'm sure there's a lot of you who would not want to do what I do, especially um, with all the warnings that I have um, been provided to send to you. And I think that's sort of where um, spirit is going is to sort of be sort of a, like a warning uh, lighthouse for you, letting you know that the storm is coming so that you're prepared for the storm. So not that you freak out because the storm is coming, but because you will be prepared for the storm and not, you know, going, oh my gosh, what do I do now? Just, it's a good thing to be prepared, right? If there's an emergency coming, then you want to be prepared for it. It's much better to do, be in that energy. So that's why I do what I do. And I know a lot of you can be a little bit afraid of that and you can be in fear mode. But what I heard this week's, I don't remember where I heard it from, but I heard if fear is in your mind. So now I see why I've been training. Spirit's been training me sort of like a warrior training in my mind for the last five years of how to get control of your mind, how to tell your mind what to think that you are not your mind. When I learned this, I was that was the game changer for me, that I am not my mind. I was like, what? And your mind, you can control your mind. You can tell your mind. And, and one of the best ways to remember this is meditation where you get in your mind and you, when you get in that silence, you're like, okay, I'm gonna tell my mind to think this. So for me, how it started was I would hear songs in my head constantly. And I thought that I was going crazy one day. I remember sitting on the porch and saying, I'm going crazy because I cannot turn these songs off in my mind, which is part of my ability, by the way, is if I hear songs in my head, that's my clear audience kicking in. Spirit is trying to tell me something with songs. But I remember being, I feel like I'm so out of control. Like I, I feel like I'm going crazy because they, these songs never, never stop. And it's songs I don't want to hear. And and then I realized one day that I could control these songs. So what I did was a little trick. I remember viewing in my mind's eye, conjuring up, imagining a jukebox in front of me. And in my mind's eye, I went over to the jukebox, imagination, and I just picked another song. I was like, oh my God. It was so empowering to be like, oh my gosh, I have control over what I have in my mind. So when these, these fear things come up, it's very important that you feel the fear, but your mind is telling you, your ego mind, which is a good thing, telling you you should be afraid, but you have a choice. And that's where the power is. You have a choice. Should I be afraid? Yes. If you're feeling fear, it's a natural emotion and natural energy, and you want to feel it as much as you can. And that's how it leaves. So feeling the fear instead of shoving it down is the new cool way to handle your fear, right? But not saying we're never fear. No one's fearless, right? There, You have fear for a reason. It keeps you safe. So the best advice that can give you is to feel the fear, have it move through you, and then you'll feel better instead of shoving it down. Okay. Shoving it down will cause pain, emotional pain. You'll gain weight, you know, all these things because it's an energy. It's a very, fear is a very powerful energy, which the, the GOV knows they know that. So before I get into all of this, I want to say awesome stuff. Like I'm so grateful. Like when people say, Oh, I'm so grateful to be here. No, I actually mean, I am appreciating the freak out of all of you guys who are listening to this, who follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok. You know, I really appreciate each and every one of you for trusting me to deliver these warning systems in psychic information so that you guys can be prepared for the storm. It's not to say, oh my God, we're all going to die in the storm. I never said that. We're not going to, we are going to win this fight. That's why we're here. Okay. And we're humans having an experience. 
And so feeling the only way to learn is to live, right? We have to live our lives regardless of what's going on to the best of our abilities to still smile, to still laugh, you know, to still have fun, still be silly and keep learning. So speaking of learning, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an insight before I get into the predictions of my new spirit school classes that are coming for next September. So this September, pardon me, this September spirit school is starting the new year, 2022, 2023. And I'm going to tell you some of the new classes that are added to spirit school. So, so far we have seven people signed up for next year, which is this fall in September. So right now I'm currently in the first year of spirit school. We're having a great time in there. We're learning psychic development. We just finished psychic development and now we're going into mediumship. We have learned meditation. We have learned astrology. We have learned so many amazing things from amazing teachers. And so this is for September. So if you're thinking about joining spirit school and you're like, Jen, what classes do you have for fall? These are some of the ones that are going to be in spirit school. So one of the classes that we're going to add, and this is a certificate program from now on. Okay. So this year currently it's, it's like a, the first year I've done spirit school officially. So we're learning, it's like learning how to navigate this beautiful school that I have created. So, um, is a certificate in September program certificate program. So the first one, one of the ideas is telepathic communication. So one month I will teach you how to telepathically communicate. And that will probably coincide with animal communication. So we will be learning how to telepathically communicate with animals. Um, mostly dogs, probably. Um, horses, okay? These kind of things. So it's a very handy tool to have this uh, when you can telepathically communicate. Psychic level one and two will also be added to the curriculum. And actual travel and projection. So if you want to learn any of those. And also I added, not in my notes, but also I'm going to add a Reiki mentorship in there as well. And again, psychic um, psychic level one, psych, psychic level two. I don't currently have psychic three. I have had uh, inquiries ar around, Jen, what are you going to teach psychic three? I don't currently have psychic three, but I do have one and two, and that will be in spirit school in this fall. So that is very exciting. Um, I'm still doing readings. Um, I, I'm loving again what I do. I went through a very traumatic event, which you guys, if you follow me on Instagram and my stories, I sort of gave way to and um, announced that I was having a little bit of a difficult time because I went through an extremely traumatic event about two weekends ago. Um, I'm still not ready to tell the story because when you are still not able to tell a story without crying, I don't believe that it's quite time yet or it's healed yet. But I will say that there have been some, you know, one thing that I did learn from this traumatic experience is that life is extremely short. And the best way to live your life is to appreciate the fuck out of everything. Like from now on, I will never pick another flower from the earth. I will never hurt a tree. I will never take for granted the time that I'm alive, the time that I'm here. And so those are really important lessons that I did learn. And I promise that you will get the whole story as soon as I can talk about it without crying. It was very traumatic, but I feel like also I did learn after visiting my own personal shaman who helped clear away all of this crap that happened and was inside of me and needed to be released and healed. You know, I did learn the power of you. You guys maybe don't realize how powerful, what powerful beings we all are. We are extremely, extremely powerful beings, uh, unbelievably powerful that we don't even realize our own power. And I don't mean in the sense that this kitschy spiritual person on Instagram is like, Hey, you're so powerful. I don't, I don't mean it like that at all. It is, it is otherworldly. It is out of this world, the power that we have. And I'm decided that I'm going to use that power and I'm going to use my voice. Another thing that I did learn in this traumatic event was that the indigenous women um, who have been taken and hor horrific things, unspeakable acts have occurred to them, have happened to them, they've experienced that and they're missing. Um, they also came to me in this experience and said that I have a voice and I need to share their stories. So that might be coming up as well. And the, just the injustice that is being uncovered in the world, you know, I did get a, I did get a message a week ago from someone I've known for 20 years and she was not happy with my predictions and she expressed her fear and her concern and said, you know, I don't appreciate your, 
your predictions they're scary you tell people that we need to know this but i don't i think it's a bunch of bullshit and you know so those things just remind you that you know when someone says something to you you got to still use your voice it's not hey don't use your voice anymore it's use your voice fucking louder okay use it louder because if you are in your knowing and you know yourself well and you know the why and the reason why you're doing something so for obviously an example would be for me sharing these second predictions with you again it's to prepare you i'm not trying to scare you most of the psychics that you see are not trying to scare you they're tapped into the the experience is the seer we're seers so we can see what is coming and we're reporting back to you so you can be prepared okay it's not to scare you again going back to the talking about fear fear is all in your mind if you can get control of your mind you can get control of your fear okay that's where the magic is because when you're in fear most of the time you are in a very low vibration i'm not talking from a toxic spirituality stance here i'm talking from a vibrational stance it is a very low vibration and that is what they want us to be is fear in fear because then we're more controllable do you see how this works okay so when you decide that you're going to be in love and you're going to appreciate the shit out of your life every little thing like that's all i do in my mind now is i say thank you and i feel thank you i feel the word thank you I was watching a YouTube video. Maybe it was a podcast. I think it was, I don't know who it was. Maybe Muji. He said that if you can feel appreciation as if God was standing right in front of you, how would that feel? How deeply would your appreciation and love go if God was standing in front of you? Now, the word God, I'm not saying it's a trigger word because God, universe, spirit, they're all the same thing, okay? Imagine that. Imagine that power and you're like, how gra- how grateful you would feel in that moment. Um, really stuck with me so I am completely in gratitude as much as possible as much as I can be you know it's just really important that we all um, stay in that energy as much as we can so we can shift out of this experience or not maybe get out of it because we want to escape like I want to go to Costa Rica and live there but I'm staying here because we have a job to do so let me see I'm just tuning in to see if there's anything else I need to share with you guys um yeah so there's spirit school there's you can do readings um i feel a little bit more like myself now i feel excited again i'm still writing the second book sort of and it's i'm getting signs from spirit that it's really time for me to get this book finished it's been about four years since i have um since my unearth your intuition book has come out you can get that on amazon if you don't already have a copy of that and I'll, if I think of whatever's coming up, I will share that with you guys as well. And I hope you listened to the last episode. So if you haven't, the episode, this is episode 30, I think. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have been consistent for 30 weeks. Get out of here. Okay, so episode 29, the one before this episode, has Nick, Nick Angel, as my special guest. And that was a really, really awesome, that was actually my favorite episode so far of the City Media Podcast. So go listen to that because he has a lot of cool wisdom to share and experiences and stories that he has and uh, it was great having him on the podcast so if you know someone who's a medium or someone who you think would be a good fit as a guest on the singing medium podcast shoot me a dm on instagram elevate.hersoul and i will see if that is a good fit and I, i love to have guests on here also if you have a reading that you had recorded with me and you think it would help someone also reach out to me and i will also would love to put that on the podcast as well so here we go. I wish I had a drum roll, but I don't. So I'm gonna give these to you. Now, before I tell you them, they are the very scary one I'll save for last because it is so ridiculous that I don't even know if I wanted to say it, but I think it's actually gonna happen because I do actual travel, I project, and I can actual project into secret government meetings, which I know sounds super weird and like super out there, but the more out there the thing is, the more likely it is true, okay? So there's also been some um, documents released that the FBI or the CIA has proven that astral travel is real. And they actually had hired people from like, people who are really good at astral travel from other countries to spy on secret government meetings. And I can do that for free. So I got a couple of things from these meetings that I astral traveled into. I'm surprised they don't like know that I'm there because that's a little bit worrisome. That's a little bit worrisome. Okay. I'm just adding something here. I just got another, as I'm talking to you, I got another psychic prediction. 
Give me one second. I'm going to write this down in my notes. Yeah, so remember it? People are like, are you going to tell us anything good? Now, this is an invitation to be like reframing what is good and bad. Like, I know it sounds maybe a little far-fetched, but what is good and bad, you know? When, you're, when you remember that you were one in the universe, there's no division, there's only unity, there's oneness, there is only love, there is only, um, there's no like black and white. You know, so so black and white would be night and day, um, good and bad, right? So you, it doesn't really exist. It in when there's no time, there's no night and day. So when you return to your soul origin, when you when you when it's your turn to return home, you will return to this oneness and you will remember all of this. You will recall it all right right away. Um, yeah. Okay. So how do I want to start this? Preface this by saying one of my predictions from a few months ago was. All will be um, accounted for. So all of the crimes that are happening right now, all of this sneaky stuff that's going on, all these random, not random, they're planned, this plan that's going on, they will all be held accountable for their crimes. Okay, so everything that the government is doing is a crime. It is illegal what they're doing, and no one's being held accountable. So if you think about karma, past life memory, we're repeating time right now from the 1930s if you catch my drift we're repeating it okay so it's come a time we're in a time loop we're stuck in a time loop right now and the reason why we're not getting out of this time loop one of the reasons is because it has to happen for our better good so that we can build a new earth we can build a better life we can you know um be more friendly with our neighbors, you know, helping one another, compassion. And it's getting loud that we're the opposite of this right now because this is what's building up and it's going to dissipate and turn over, okay? All the arguing, all this kind of stuff, this this hatred, all of this stuff has to come up really, really big in our faces so it can be removed. And, you know, um, all of the people who are doing these horrific things um, are going to be held accountable. So I want you to keep that in mind. While I'm telling you these things, we're just in a process right now. We're in a process and we're going through the process and it's always planned. Like it has been planned energetically and it has been planned meant like physically planned by these elites. Okay. So here's a couple of them. They're all pretty much not great if you, if you're in that mindset, but again, I'm here to prepare you and I'm telling you the crazier there are, the more likely they're going to come true. Okay. So the first one I got, I posted on TikTok and that video got removed for community violation. I'm like, what, why? Why did that get removed? Why, because I'm telling the truth of what the plan is? Like there's a lot of people on TikTok who are doing videos about the same things that I'm talking about and they're also tapping into that whether you are psychic or not. You don't have to be psychic to feel into what is actually going on beneath the surface, okay? You don't have to be psychic. You just need to tune in to your own intuition. Like, does it feel off to you? Something feels off, it is. And the level and degree of the offness here is off the charts. And so that's why we're picking that up. So this one has actually already come true. And um, I posted this, like, I think on Monday. So the government's going to hire surveillance people to knock on doors they're gonna come to your house to see if you're vaccinated this is also what i got last night do you remember last summer i think it was last year because i was still living in orangeville those um people who come to the came to the door for the survey every year you have to do like a survey from the government i forget what it's called but like they were really rude and they were like if you don't do this survey you're gonna be punished or find and they threatened me at the door. She's like, did you do yours yet? And I'm like, no, she's like, you're, it's mandatory, ma'am. You have to do this. Oh my God, did you hear that? That's the door being creepy. Hold on a second. That is okay. Well, uh, hopefully there's no ghosts in my house. Um, it, they were being, it's, it's because they needed to know everything about you. The sense, 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 no, what's it called? I can't think of what it's called that they had to like get all your information but that was part of the plan too that's part of the plan to get all your information and just have it collected because it was really weird the energy how they did it this year 
And I think there was someone I follow on Instagram. She's like, I didn't answer the door. I refused to answer the questions. I wasn't doing the survey. Um, I was like, good for you. Like I fell for, I was like, they had got me with the fear. You know, they were so rude and intimidating at the door. I was like, oh my God, I guess I better do this stupid survey. Anyways, it's, it's all linked. It's all linked together. So they're going to come to your door and see if you're vaxxed or not. Like I can't make this up. This actually ties in with what I just wrote down. There's going to be white vans. So if you feel like someone's watching you, or you feel like there's a white, a random white van or some conspicuous, some really suspicious car on your road in the summer and the fall, and you're like, why is that random person in that van or, you know, looking at binoculars? It's the people who were hired. They're going to come to your door and see if you're vaxxed or not. Probably in the same um, intimidation energy as what happened when they came around if you did the survey or not. Okay. Like I can't make this up. It's so ridiculous that I can't make this up. There's no way on earth I can make this up. You know, it, it, it sounds crazy when I say it, but look at all the things that I've said before. Other psychics have said before me, they're all saying the same thing. Like this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I have no doubt that, that my things that I psychic predictions that I get from spirit are going to happen. They're just going to, there, there has to be some kind of acceptance here that the amount of ridiculousness and like mind blowing strangeness. Like, have you seen how the government has passed all the decriminalizing cocaine? That's, uh, is that normal? Is that okay? Okay. So the most crazy things are going, are happening. They're giving you little hints of the craziness that the programmable citizens are okay with. No one is getting upset about this. No one is doing this. Like they're pushing, pushing. How far can we push humanity? How far can we push the Canadian citizens before they crack? Well, let's just take their guns away. Then they can't attack us. Like, do you guys see this? This is, this is beyond, this is beyond conspiracy theory. That has never been conspiracy, has never been conspiracy. And I have an episode about that. I don't know which number it is, but I do. This has never been conspiracy. This has always been energy. This has always been intuitive people tapping in like take Alex Jones for example Alex Jones they thought he was fucking crazy he is tapped in tapped in okay so um I did another one and there will probably be a many many shootings happening every seven to ten days in the states I had San Jose California is San Jose in California I'm not sure and then another one Texas and probably Carolinas so they're gonna just be all over. And these, I'm telling you, these are planned. These are planned. That's what they want. And again, the ridiculousness of this, like why would the government plan this? You guys don't have no clue. You have no idea what they're capable of and what they're doing. Okay, so then looting, looting. Oh, looting, that was one of the things I already posted in the past uh, episode, a blog, sorry, in a blog, I think I talked about that. There will be looting and fires. And mostly in the States, um, but there will be looting this summer. This summer is crazy. I once heard someone maybe at the hair, hairdressers like, I'm so excited for summer and we're going to go in our RV and we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be the best summer ever. And I'm like, oh my God, you have no idea. There's going to be power outages, which also an article came up about that after I predicted it. There's planned power outages. So I keep having this massive feeling that I need to get a generator, but Chad says they're like, our house is too big to to run one on it we need a really big one but i just know like i know it's coming so be prepared for that okay not to scare you prepare you i'm going sunday to buy all of my canned goods to stock up and put them in my basement um so with the shootings there will be a sheriff i saw a sheriff badge uh, will be shot in one of these um one of these shootings unfortunately it, it's really sad you know you got to get to the point somehow of numb, not numbness, but I can see why people disassociate and why people are numb. Like I disassociated after my experience on the week that weekend, because I was like, I had to escape my own mind. And I can see why people are very disassociated, why people want to escape, why people want to numb themselves with alcohol and drugs. And it's just, you know, I, I can see, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. But there's got to be a point where you're like, okay, this is very heavy and low and it and it's not helping me. It's making things worse. So you've really got to train your mind. 
that's that's a big thing like when I was let me see I'm 47 now and I was like 30 something 30 yeah around 30 I used to go to this mom group called um what was it called it was run by the earlier center like it was like a mom's having babies but they have depression and uh, postpartum depression energy so I used to go because I actually had postpartum depression twice and I would go to these meetings and every time I would go there there was, I think there was like a psychologist there and she would say you need cognitive behavioral therapy and I was like what is that like that sounds like a bunch of crap and a, like a mumbo jumbo and big words you're using on me. But basically what they meant was to retrain your mind. <laughs> I would say, Oh my God, I'm starving. And I don't, I feel so sick. I'm starving to death. I'm in, and she goes, is that true? Are you starving? I'm like, Oh, I guess I'm not really starving. Am I words are powerful, man. Words are so powerful. Like last week I was complaining about my business was tanking. Thank goodness it's turned around, but it was tanking, guys. My business was tanking. I was crying. I was like, I said to Chad, I'm like, I am drowning. I feel like I'm drowning. And you can say that. You cannot say that, that say things like that and not realize the magnitude of the power behind the words that you're saying. Because on that weekend where the experience happened, I was literally, not literally, I was drowning in my experience okay I, I will tell you more basically involved some psychedelics that were not good for me um but i but me saying that word drowning by the way cancel clear delete i'm not drowning anymore um i had that experience in the event so I, i'm very cautious of what i say now so cognitive behavioral therapy i did it on my own which i don't call it that i don't call it cbt i call it me with my own mind power choosing to reprogram my mind so i don't have negative thoughts all the time yeah so here is kind of a cutie one cutie lizzo pay tiktok to promote her song it's about damn time in a minute uh, that song and made the dance app so that everyone would do this is a program lizzo program y'all to do this dance and have that song stuck in your mind music over and over and over and over and over is a program something that is repetitive over and over and over that changes your brain waves is a program so this is going to come out that she paid tiktok millions for them to promote her song and to make up the dance like i think she made up the dance and then we all copied it so copying copying other people's work um if you succumb to that, you're part of the program. So that's going to come up. So there's the white vans. And then, the, okay, so I'm saving the very scary one for a minute. So what I got this morning is not great. Um, the government is going to announce. Like I'm telling you, the crazier these are, the more they're going to happen. I don't know why. They come in stronger. The knowing is stronger. I'm not sure what's going on here. But... They're going to have a national unaliving day. Well, I'll just let that sink in. The government is going to announce a national suicide day. Like, it makes sense if you feel into that. Like, why do they say now the government, you can have medically assisted suicide if you're too depressed and you can't get help? Like, think about it. There's going to be an announcement for a national suicide day because... Again, the government is deep, trying to depopulate the world. There, there's too many people. There's too many people. Um, they said that it can't, the earth cannot sustain all of us at the rate that's going in. You guys remember the, the um, prediction I did? I don't know if it was on the podcast or not, um, but it's in a blog about, um, oh yeah, the bugs thing. You guys are going to eat bugs. We're going to eat bugs. They're going to try to get us to eat bugs, which they, I have seen that. Anyways, they're going to say that the, that, and this, okay, so this one I'm talking about right now, this is what I actually projected into very quickly. It was like a 1.1 1. 1 second or 0. 0.1 second blip of me actual traveling momentarily. Do you guys ever notice when you're driving and you like disappear for a second, then you come back really fast, like you zone out for a second or you like, are not, that's, you actually travel. You don't have to be sleeping to do this. So I actually projected into a meeting where there's military chiefs or whatever the big wigs are 
with all their badges and there's a big computer behind them and they're sitting at a cir circular table and they're saying we're going to announce a national suicide day so that people who are lost or can't get help or feel like their life is over because there's all there's, there's an increase in suicides since the pandemic right so this is horribly horribly part of their plan like the the, the the horridness just gets worse every time I, I I get more things. And I keep saying, like that video that got taken down off of TikTok, it was like, that was something, there was something positive, you know, there was, I was like positive in the video. I was like, hey guys, we're gonna be okay. It sounds horrible, but we're gonna be okay. And that got taken down for telling the truth. So leading up, now this is a scary one. So if you are like terrified right now and you can't get control of your fear or your mind and know that everything's gonna be okay eventually, we're just going through a process. Um, I would turn the podcast, the podcast off right now. And I am hundred percent not saying that. So you will, um, so that you will be like, Oh my God, I got to hear what Jen has to say. I'm literally telling you to turn it off right now. And this is the one that I, this one that was my big hesitation that I didn't want to post because I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? So if you're listening, okay, you got to be in the mindset of it's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna... I don't think it's going to be in Canada. And it could be, it was like a simulation almost. So like the energy of like a movie, think of a movie and all the movies um, trying to tell you something. So Independence Day, um, Braveheart, um, that movie with the with the songbird all of these movies are trying to warn us or it's a program of letting you know what's to come okay movies are becoming more real so the plots of movies are becoming more real so again turn it off if you're if you don't want to hear this it's like there is a simulation that they're planning or they did it there's a simulation of the movie the purge like do you know the premise of the movie the purge so if you don't know which i'm sure a lot of you do i'm going to google the premise to you um let me see here basically okay so this is going to be in the states i think they've already done this uh yeah do not let your kids watch this movie do not let your kids watch this movie um, I can't even find it right basically it's a futuristic sci-fi horror movie with a horrific idea once a year American citizens are given a chance to unalive people and it's like a survival energy now whether this is even a possibility this is going to happen um, there I think there was a simulated event probably China I'm get, I'm seeing China so what was that TV show we were all obsessed with that was um, had subtitles and you know it was like the people volunteered and you could win like a million dollars if you survived these games squid game do you not like feel into that plot of that show like feel oh, again this is getting really kind of freaky but again, I'm not trying to scare you, but try being in my mind, okay? <laughs> try being in my mind. I saw a video on TikTok. You know how they're all locked down in Shanghai or whatever? I saw a video on TikTok where there was like 20 people in white hazmat suits who were holding down a man, holding up a man, because he refused to have a daily COVID test. And they duct taped him and put his mask on I mean, and put a mask on but 20 of these guys were swarming him and like, sticking the thing up his nose because he refused to have a COVID test he didn't want to he didn't want to be violated have you ever had one of those tests oh my god they're horrible I'm so traumatized from this test um but yeah so something about that has already been simulated in another country and they're just not talking about it can you imagine putting that on the news you can't put that on the news right so um again I don't, I mean, it's hard to say, don't be scared, but you gotta like, at some point you just have to laugh, you know, you gotta be like, what? 
it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is what's coming. All the things that we're finding out and being uncovered is getting just getting bigger and bigger as we go. I don't think so. So just so you know, I don't think it's gonna be Canada. And I'm gonna say one last thing just as a preparation. There, um, I talked about this before, how there's quarantine camps, but they're calling them rehabilitation rehabilitation camps. So anyone who is not vaxxed, um, they're going to attempt to, and if you watch Jagmeet Singh, he warned us that if people who are not vaxxed are going to be punished, okay? So there's your warning. Um, there, I saw a video, they're building these rehabilitation centers um, for us. So that's when things are going to get really crazy because it's going to be a massive revolt, like massive revolt. And this is the catalyst for the change of like, no more like this. This is done where the government's going to all be taken care of. We're going to take care of it, but it has to get so ridiculous because people are so complacent. And I don't know why if they're just so if you're just so afraid, I don't know. Um, I'm surprised nothing's being done lately. There's no revolt. There's no revolution. Where's the revolution? And this is what's going to do it. Because in one of my blog posts, I put an explanation of what happened in 1930s with the Nazi German thing in the camp. There, It all has to play out. It has, we're in a time loop. So we're it, everything that happened then has to happen in this life. It has to happen again. So when we're old and gray, so I'm 47, so I'm like 80, I'll be telling the story about, you know, all this crazy that shit happened. But eventually, our grandparents lived through it and they survived. So we're going to survive. We're going to actually thrive. I'm excited for the communes where we're all going to live together and these domes together and we're going to grow gardens together and we're going to be best friends and there's going to be no hate and it's just going to be a love and we're going to grow things from the earth and we're going to give thanks to mother earth and this is what we're transitioning into but like my mind is having a hard time i'm sure yours is as well of the things that i'm saying that are just you know so ridiculous it's so ridiculous that you just just i know from experience that the more ridiculous the vision is or the claircognizant or the psychic vision is, the more an actuality is going to manifest. Okay? So just put everything together. I want you to piece everything together. Think about, look at what's happening. All these laws that are being passed without our consent and we just don't have any say in anything. Pay attention to that. It needs to empower you, not freak you out so you cower in, in the corner and cry your head off. Like, I'm, I was crying. But you got to get up. You got to get back up and you got to say, no, thank you. No more. This is insane. And you're part of a massive expansion and up leveling. And the higher you can stay in an appreciation energy and a smiling energy and a positive energy, the easier it's going to be for you to flow with what's coming. Okay. But if they, they want you to be afraid. That is their goal. You need to be afraid threatened you know that is how you control people so people who are in the energy of this what i'm talking about are not programmable you can't program us like if i get sent to this rehabilitation center and they're going to try to reprogram me good luck you won't be able to reprogram me because i have programmed my own mind for the past five years it's not programmable it's just not so that word sovereignty just came in you know you gotta get to the point where you know who you are, you know your mind, you know that the best way to be is an appreciation and joy and happiness, regardless of your situation, regardless of what's going on. Okay? So I love you guys. I think you're all freaking awesome. And I would love, 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 if you're still listening here, for you to rate this podcast, hopefully five stars. And to subscribe to the Singing Media Podcast and let's get it out more to the world because that is one of my missions here is to get these words out, my mediumship and my psychic stuff out into the world so I can prepare more people and help them. And that's why psychic and psychics and memes are here right now. Why there's so many of them because this is their mission. All right. So if you feel like you're a psychic or you would like to be a medium, come and join Spirit School. 20, 22, 23, and come and remember your gifts and how amazing you are. And I will see you guys on the next episode.